Hi guys. Okay, if you're on here, could you please let me know that you're on here and that you can hear and see me okay? Hey Debbie. I'm looking off to the side, you guys, because that's where I read my comments at. So it says we have quite a few on here, but I need for somebody to let me know if you guys can hear and see me. Okay, thanks, Debbie. Hey, Linda. Hey, Stacy, you guys are flying by so fast I can't keep up. <laughs> hey, Jessica. Thanks for sharing. Hey, Brianna. I never know if I say your name right. I know I'm I'm not saying it right. Is it Brianna? And I know you've told me before. I'm sorry. Hey, Stacy. Thank you so much, Stacy. That is so sweet. You know what? We have a lot of other demonstrators that that join on here, so that is perfectly fine. There is a lot of demonstrators that inspire me, so I entire uh, totally understand what you're saying with that. Okay, I don't like the way I'm seeing my comments, you guys, so I'm going to go out. So hold tight. I want to go out and then go back in and see if I can pull it up a different way. So that way the comments, because I'm having to scroll to see them, and I don't, I don't like that. And that's the same way. So let me try, let me try something else, guys. Hold on just a minute. I want to see because I'm not liking the way that I have to view that today. That's not helping any. Oh, how am I going to do this today, you guys? Hold on, I got to figure out a better way for me to view comments. And now I'm back on my page and it doesn't even show me like maybe this is it. Still not the way that I want it. Oh, geez, you guys. Now that's like showing me the replay. <laughs> Okay, that's last week, so I got to get off that video. <laughs> oh, that's not going to help much, is it? Okay, hold on, guys. I'll figure it out. Give me just a minute. Normally, I can just click right on it. I might have to just do it the way that Facebook is forcing me to do it today. So let's see. And I don't like that because normally the comments are all at the side. Oh, geez. Hey, Janet. Brina. Okay. Thanks for spelling that out for me like that. I really appreciate it. Now I still have to figure out, you guys, because I can't see. I'm going to have to scroll, so I'm afraid I'm going to miss somebody's comments. Oh, dang it. Let me try one more thing and see. Nope. That is still the same. Don't like this. Hey, Elaine. Okay, guys, I'm just going to do it the way they're making me. So I may not see your comments. Hopefully I will, but it's not. It's showing me all the info about the, um, okay. Yeah, and also too, uh, Janet. Hey, Mary. Janet said she got the notification on her cell, but not her iPad. And another thing I noticed this week too, you guys, is that um, normally when I scroll Facebook, I do the most recent posts and that kind of went away. It's normally at the top for me if I'm if, either if I'm on my phone or my laptop and this week on my laptop, now they moved it. It's over to the left and you have to scroll. You have to more info or something like that before you can even see it. So I'll just try to remember to keep scrolling or I'm not going to see everybody's comments. So if I don't respond to you, I'm not ignoring you or not acknowledging you. It's because I didn't see your comments. So, oh, excuse me. I am very sorry about that. Okay, let's get started. I will tell you guys, I did not have much prep time for this week because it has been a heck of a week. Let me tell you, my husband went to Kentucky to visit his mom, um, some health issues going on with her. And so we have three dogs, as you guys know, and our littlest one 
the meal. Oh my gosh. He decided he was going to cry. My husband got me up when he left, which is about 3.30 in the morning. I'd gone to bed Friday night about 12.30. So I had three hours sleep. So I went Saturday all day on three hours sleep because I could not fall back asleep. I'm one of those people. Once I'm awake, I'm awake. And, um, hey, Adrian. Yeah. Oh, that's too bad. She says her internet is bad. Um, but anyways, right when I was starting to fall back asleep, he decided he was going to do the little crying, moaning thing because he missed my husband, I guess. So that woke me up. So I just got up. I had appointments on Saturday I had to do. So I got that done. Three hours sleep. Over the weekend still, Saturday I slept pretty good, but Sunday he did it again. So I didn't have a lot of sleep. So I kind of slept in this morning over an hour what I normally get up. So I was kind of rushed when I got up. And then we had another sick dog yesterday we had to take to the vet. And then we have a whole scenario with um, a home improvement store that we've been dealing with that we bought a washer and a dryer in June, at the beginning of June, mind you. And we got the washer within like a week. We went and picked it up. And then they said that the dryer wouldn't be available till the end of July. We still don't have the dryer. Just found out Monday they're not going to get the dryer. It's probably going to be September. And then that's just an expected date, not a guaranteed date. So my poor husband, I found one at another home improvement store. I don't want to say their name because I'm not into bashing people or whatever, but um, he found one over an hour away, a different store. So hopefully it's going to be the same one. They said it should be that the model number and everything matched up, same color. So we're hoping it's the one that we were supposed to get. We don't really need a dryer, but the washer is what broke. So that's what we needed to replace. But in 2014, the washer broke. This washer broke, the first one. And so we didn't want to get a new dryer because our dryer was still pretty pretty new at that time. But now it's kind of old. So we decided, well, okay, now we're going to get them back to matching again because I hated not having a washer and dryer. Thank God I'm the only one that sees it, me and my husband, and sometimes maybe a family member that needs assistance with washers and dryers. Okay, enough about my horrible week so far. Oh, and then let me tell you guys this too, where I work, they're repaving the parking lot and I got to work yesterday. Oh, I forgot this. I'm locked out of my PayPal account. Don't know what I did. Called them yesterday. Everything's fine. It says that some of the information I entered is incorrect. It's my email address. I know my email address. Have the right password. Talk to a lady yesterday. They can't figure it out. She did say PayPal was having issues, but still today I can't get in. So I didn't have time to call them today. So I'm going to have to call them tomorrow to find out why I can't log into my own PayPal account. Because that's how I do my kit clubs, my in-color clubs, my online classes. That's how I take care of everything, mall packages. So this is not good. <laughs> yeah. Um, it, you know, and I understand we were trying to be understanding about COVID and things not coming in. But I have called the whole month of July saying, you know, when is the expected date? When? And then they told me last week, Wednesday. Then it didn't come in on Wednesday, and then they told me Friday. And then it didn't come in on Friday, so I kind of was like, I'm getting the runaround about this, and I'm getting a little bit fed up. So Monday, I was like, I need to talk to a manager about this. Like I told him, you know, we're paying that bill, and we don't have the dryer. We're not able to use it, and we just need, we want answers. Are we going to get this dryer or not? Because I had a sneaking suspicion this is what was going on. Okay, guys. Now, if you're new, my name's Bobby. I don't normally rant like this. <laughs> I am an independent demonstrator in the U.S. and I do these every week on Wednesday at noon. New time. I used to do it at one. Now I have to do it at noon. Um, I will tell you guys really quick. I'm looking down because I'm going through my notes. So our new host code for August is right there on the screen for you guys. And this is also on my blog and also on my Facebook page. If you want to shop with me, I would love to have you join. Um, oh no, she said everything. Stacy said she had to get the Better Business Bureau involved for her PayPal, but she said everything was fine because at first I was afraid the account had gotten hacked and it has exactly, I was, the funny thing was I was in there yesterday morning and then it was just an hour or so later that I tried to log back in and I had the issue. So I knew how much money I was supposed to have and what I'd done and all that matched up. So I'm not really sure what's going on with PayPal, but we'll figure it out. Okay, so that is the hostess code. So if you shop with me in my online store in August and use that host code for any qualifying order, I will send you my free make and takes for August and I will show you them really quick. So if you spend $25 
you earn this free make and take. And this is how I send it to you guys. And then this is if you spend $35, you will earn that first one. And then this second one. And then if you spend $50, I will send you all three. And then I send you everything you need. I did have a little pearl down here. I think it must have fell off. But I will send you everything you need to make these cards. And the videos are already up on my YouTube channel. And another great perk about shopping with me is you can download this form on my blog. It's bobbystamps.com. And when you shop with me and you fill in this amount up here of your orders, and they do have to be $50, before tax and shipping. But when you have that filled in, then you get to choose $40 worth of free products down here. You fill this out and you can email it to me. You can take a screenshot of it and send it to me, however you want to do it. And then I will put those in the mail to you. And I want to back up because I forgot to announce last week's winner. And you guys, I did not have time to do my random comment picker this morning. I just scrolled through and stopped and clicked on whatever post I was on, closed my eyes, and that's who won. And she's on here because she's commented. It is Jessica Lundberg Johns. So congratulations, Jessica. I was so happy when I seen I landed on your name. So I do think I have your email or your mailing address. But if you want to private message me that again, it would help me so I don't have to go searching for it, to be quite honest with you. <laughs> and the next week's prize patrol is going to be this ridiculously awesome stamp set. This one retired and I was very sad when it retired because this was one of my favorite ones and I was really hoping it would stick around a little while longer than what it did. But if you comment and share on this video, that's how you'll be entered in next week's prize patrol, you guys. So if you do both, if you comment and share, that's going to give you two entries into that prize patrol. Okay, so the next thing on here is my monthly kit club. And this is an ongoing club. You have to join by the 7th of ever or the 20th, I'm sorry, of every month to get that month's projects. If you join after that, you're going to get the next month's projects. And it's $35 a month, and that does include priority shipping. And you can cancel or join at any time. And every month I send you enough cardstock to make eight cards. We make two each of four different designs. And then you also have the chance to add on the featured bundle. And if you add it on, you end up saving about 17% because I pay for tax and I pay the shipping and handling on that. And then I also provide you with the envelopes. You're added to my private Facebook group. That's where I put the members. And that is also where I post the PDFs and the videos showing you how to put the projects together. And you guys, when you do add on the featured stamp set, I send you the card stock and everything you need to make the 3D items. If you don't add it on, you still get the PDFs and the videos. You just don't get the cardstock. And all my um, team members are added to this page as well. So if you have been thinking about signing up as a demonstrator and you want to join and right now take advantage of that great promotion they have going on, you would be added to this and you would get the PDFs and the videos every month just for being on my team. And then after you've been a member for six months, you earn a $25 product bonus. And I'll send you a little form. You fill that out. Tell me what you want. I place the order and I have it sent directly to you. Okay. So that is a great thing, you guys. I love my kit club. And next up is I want to talk to you about my online winter retreat. It's going to be October 6th. It's all online. I have an early bird registration, so it started July 5th and on August 21st, so just a couple of more weeks. If you want to get in on the early bird special, you have to join by the 21st, and it's $105. After that, it's going to be $125. So if you are interested, do it before the 21st. You're going to receive a swag bag that is filled with over, I think it's $29, $30 right there at that mark, of Stampin' Up! product that you'll use to put your projects together. I'm going to send you pillow gifts, an optional add-on class. Um, if you want to add that on, it's, I want to say $30, $35. It's not very much. And then I'll send you on that private Facebook group that I'm going to add you to. That's where I'll post the videos and the PDFs for you guys. You'll receive treats in your box. And we're also going to have price patrol. So you have a chance. Oh, thank you, Erin. She said, your retreats are always so awesome. Thank you so much, Erin. I didn't even see you pop on here. My, my comments are not showing up normally like they do, so I'm having to, 
I can only see who's commenting right then at that time. So I'm if I'm reading, I'm missing people that's joining. Um, we're going to make 3D projects. The price of the retreat includes shipping. And then, like I just said, there's a private Facebook group. And I'm, I do have a video PDF option only. So that means you wouldn't get the swag bag, the projects, uh, the pillow gifts, the treats, things like that. You're only going to get the video and PDF. And then I'll send you the make and take packets too as well. Okay. And then let's see. Celebration. I, I haven't had time to change this, but it begins. It begun already. <laughs> so it's $30. And I can now show you the great catalog. So what do you guys think? I am in love with this. I love it so much. I love celebration. So for every $50 you spend in any of the catalogs, you get to choose stamp sets in here. So like this one is $50. This is free product. So that is $50. That is $50. That stamp set. This is the bundle that I'm going to use for the add-on class, you guys, if you're interested. So that is uh, free with the $50 purchase. And then you can get these cute little counting sheets, the stamp set, and then the die. So that would be $100. You'd have to spend $50 for each. This, uh, These dies are $100. So it's super, super fun to earn free product. And then this is the, the, the catalog you guys have all received. If you need a catalog, reach out to me. Let me know if you don't have a demonstrator. I would love to send you one. And then the last thing I want to tell you before I start stamping is if you join during celebration right now, they're, they're doing this great promotion. It's the starter kit is $99 and you get to choose $125 in product. It's free shipping. You get a free paper pumpkin um, if they are available in your starter kit. And then for the promotion, you get to choose one of those listed items right there for free. And look at the price on some of those, you guys. $66.50 for the gingerbread bundle. $72 for the peaceful cabin bundle. I mean, that is just a great, great, great opportunity if anybody is thinking about signing up as a demonstrator. Okay, let me switch back over to my camera and I will tell you guys, let me take a drink of water really quick. Okay, so last week we made this card. I showed you guys how to make this. And this was what I was going to give to my coworker. I haven't put anything on the inside yet. I'm not, I haven't given it to her yet. Hey, Carol. But I wanted to design a box to go with this card. And I will tell you, after talking to her last week, I discovered she despises the color pink. <laughs> so I'm up a boat because uh, this has pink in it. It has a pink bow. This is a pink card, you guys. So what I went and bought her, I'll show you the box I'm going to sh share with you guys today. I made this one back in February with the kangaroo stamp sets and bundles. So super cute. I had a bath bomb, I believe, the EXO bath, bath bomb in this box. So I just duplicated it and changed it just a little bit and really the only thing I changed was I put the little notch here in the front so for the box I tried to change it up I wanted it to match but I didn't want it to be pink so I used mint macaron and just used a bit of the blushing bride but I'll show you what's inside and you'll see why I wanted to match what I got her with the color of the card so I bought her one of the EOS organic lip balms I bought pink <laughs> starburst oh lord that is really showing pink on my camera let me see if i can move that and see if that helps oh that kit kat she loves cereal so do, can you guys see that i got this at my walmart it's fruity pebbles and that is her fate no captain crunch was her favorite but fruity pebbles is one of mine i think that's free is that fruity pebbles i don't see which one it says i think it is but i don't see it just says fruity cereal i'm not sure which one it's supposed to be not sure if that's fruity pebbles or not but so she's gonna have to deal with the pink i guess because that is what i bought so that is what she's getting <laughs> so let me move my little tray in and i'll show you guys so we embossed the flowers last week using the timber 3d embossing folder and i'm gonna emboss them again this week and i'm using the harvest uh nature's harvest bundle so it's this stamp set this is what i'm going to be doing in august for my monthly kit club i don't have um the the projects done where i can share those with you guys today 
but hopefully they'll be done by this weekend and then I'll post them and all that kind of stuff. So if you're, you're interested in joining my kit club, you can. So that's the bundle I'm using this week. I will share with you really quick. I did want to show you guys. This was last month. And, and just to give you a glimpse of kind of like what the projects are. Let me get that piece of paper. This was uh, in July. I used the Friends Are Like Seashells. So this was one of the 3D items. And it, it holds this little soap. I got all these little trinkets at um, Cracker Barrel, you guys, when we were traveling going to Florida. And this was a little treat holder. And check this out, you guys. Can you see that? These are chocolate-covered candies that are, they look like rocks. And how realistic do those look? I absolutely loved those. And then we only did three, normally I do four 3D items in, in July with me being on vacation. I only did three. This, I just thought it was like a cute little knickknack. But when I got home, I seen this little stopper at the bottom and realized it is a salt shaker. So I could have got both of them because they had two different designs and I could have had a salt and pepper shaker, but I didn't realize that at the time. And then these are the four cards that we made. And then every month they also receive $20. I don't know if I said that in my little thing, but you receive $20 worth of Stampin' Up! products that you use to create the project. So last month they got the embossing folder, the DSP, and the Opal Rounds was what I sent them for their $20, okay? So that's that. Now let's move back to this. So today I'm going to use the Pale Papaya Open Weave Ribbon. Don't yell at me, but I'm going to use my three-quarter inch punch that is retired. I'm just going to use the Thank You Stamp Set uh, and the Mint Macron Ink. And I'm going to have all my papers laid out here for my die cutting, so I'm just going to move them off to the side so I don't lose them. Let me move this and we'll start talking about the paper. Oh, I have to grab my notes, guys, for the measurements. And this might take me a hot second to remember because these were written down when I made the kangaroo and I got to switch out my colors for the right measurements. So let me grab my scoreboard. Okay, so I'm going to use this and this is my mint macron. This piece is six and three quarters by nine. Let me make sure I have that cut right up. Yep, six and three quarters by nine. Now I'm going to go ahead and tell you these measurements just why I have my paper laying here and I don't forget. So the um, Blushing Bride is four by two and three quarters. And then this piece of, I gotta remember, Pell Papaya, because the, the, diff the colors are written down for what I used on the kangaroo box. So that's what I have to remember which color I used. This piece that layers on top is two and a half by three and three quarters. And my DSP paper is two and a quarter by three and a half. And then for the side panels for the front, which is the longer ones, the Blushing Bride is four by one, and my Pell Papaya is, uh, let me see, three and three quarters by three quarters, and then the two strips of DSP are three and a half by a half inch. And then for the side panels, which are, oh, excuse me, which are my shorter, are two and three quarters by one, Pell Papaya is two and a half by three quarters, and the DSP is two and a quarter by a half inch. Okay, so on the long side, I am going to score it at a half inch. I have to watch this. So I'm going to score it at a half inch, three and a half, four and three quarters, and seven and three quarters. Okay, let me see if I did that right. Yep, and then the short side is one and a quarter and five and a half. Just like that, okay? Then we will just take a phone folder and burnish our score marks. Hey, Penny. I'm not seeing comments like I normally do. So if I've missed anybody... I'm sorry, guys, if you're just joining. Okay. There we go. There's that, you guys. So on this end right here, that is the skinny tab. That is going to be where we put our adhesive. So we're just going to kind of wedge that and then just cut on the opposite side of that score mark and cut that away. Do the same thing here. I'm just going to kind of wedge it in like that. And then cut that away. 
and then I'm just going to trim up on these score marks and then come back in and wedge to remove some of the bulk. So let's do that one. Okay, and then we'll wedge on this one as well. So let's just put that away. And then we'll wedge that end one as well, okay? We're going to turn it around and you're going to do the same thing. We're just going to trim up, cut that off, and then we'll just go ahead and wedge that one too. And we'll just trim that away. And then cut on the other side of that score mark and wedge that away. Okay, so that is it for the trimming. And then we will fold this over. I'm going to give it a little bit of push like that. Now this is going to be what's good. I said that's our adhesive in, guys. That's not our adhesive. That's what tucks in. I'm sorry. Don't listen to me. I don't know what I do. <laughs> Flip that over and exactly there. We're going to put adhesive on the four small tabs. I've forgotten what direction I was going, you guys. Normally that is if you're folding over the folding it over the other way, but that's not what we're doing today. So this is going to be the front. So I'm just going to fold this up. And you could probably put your DSP paper on now before you folded these if you wanted to, but I'm just going to do it. I'll show you how I I do it. So and then we'll just fold this back one over. We're going to wait to put that little notch in the front until we have our DSP and all that paper on so that way we can notch out the cardstock like we need it so it'll all match. Now these two corners right here we don't want them because see how the box won't it won't fold in. So I'm going to just take my larger pair of scissors and I'm just going to trim about half and what I like to do to make sure I kind of get them the, the right size is I just line take that old piece that I just cut off line it up and then that's going to be somewhat the same size. I got to make sure my scissors weren't inside that box. I thought I was going to cut it. Okay. So then you can see now they'll fold. They'll fold in. Oh, you know, I forgot. Hold on. I always forget this part. You got to wedge these two to get them to fold in. I always forget that until it won't close. Then I'm like, why won't it close? So just wedge that one. Oh, I didn't cut that very straight. But see, that kind of cleans it up too and makes it look a little bit better. So now it will fold in just like it is supposed to do if I can get my hands to work right. So see, okay, let's move this out of the way. I'll go ahead and put my DSP on and then we'll put, we'll do our die cutting and stamping and all that. So this piece is going to go down first, and then we're going to put down pale papaya. I'm trying to see if I have comments, you guys. I'm sorry if I'm missing them. You can always private message me, guys, if you have a question. Okay, and then we'll just put that on like that. And then I'm just going to put some adhesive on the back. Oops. I love the Stampin' So Plus, but I hate it when it starts to eat my paper. So we'll just move to the regular Stampin' Seal. How's that? Okay, so I just open the lid up and kind of eyeball it in the center. Just like that. And then you can kind of push it around where you need. And then for our back pieces, we're going to get all of these. And it's going to be the same thing. We're just going to do a lot of layering with this. Oh, grabbed the wrong one. I normally just back that out when that does that, but I don't want to take the time to do it and mess with it right now because sometimes I, it takes me a minute to get that cleaned up, the Stampin' So Plus. But it is super strong for your boxes, I will tell you that. Okay, let's put these two pieces on. And you can use Tombow too. I like to use Tombow. I use it quite a bit, to be honest with you. It's an oldie but a goodie. 
And then let's put this one on here. I think I might have forgotten one of the dies I need. Oh, it's laying out so I can grab it. Okay, so let's put adhesive then on the back. And adhesive on the back of this one. Hey, Elaine, thanks for joining. So then these go in the front. And like I said, if you leave the box open, you guys, just like this, it's super easy. Just make sure you're getting it straight. It's super easy to just make sure you're getting a good adherence on there. And then I just put it on the back. And then I kind of eyeball it too and try to make sure that that one up a little bit high. Let's see if I can move it. There we go. So I kind of try to even those up too as I'm putting it on and as I'm going around the box. So that way it kind of looks all nice and symmetrical. Let's put some more adhesive on the back of here. I'm about out and I think it just rolled around taking me out. So I might have to grab my Tombow you guys. Because I think I'm going to be out of adhesive here and then I can see the little red the little red smudge. I'm not sure. Let me see if I can roll that up and maybe get it to start cooperating with me. There we go. Just kind of put those in the center. I'm still loving my new job, you guys. Yesterday, though, where they were black topping. Oh my gosh. I was late because I was talking to, I wasn't late, but I was leaving my house later than what I liked to. And, um, I wanted to leave early because I knew they were black topping, so it's kind of hard to get a parking spot right now. And I went in, and there was two parking spots, and me being me, drove past them thinking, I'm going to get a better one. And then we would put our treat in there and just close it up. Oh, oh let me notch it first, guys. So I just put my three-quarter inch circle notch as far as it would go, eyeballed it to the center and pop that out, okay? But I was holding out for a better parking spot, so I only get none, and I had to park across the street a long ways away, and I had to walk. And I was not a happy camper, you guys, and I was more mad at myself for doing that than anything else. So I'm gonna stamp, so today I hope I can leave early enough so that doesn't happen again because Monday was not a problem. I mean, I thought it was going to be a problem when I got there and seen how many people were in the parking lot because normally it's not a problem to get a parking spot. But because I had to be on the phone yesterday, like I said, I didn't get to leave. Let me grab my other die really quick. And my plates. I left them over there. So this die that I'm going to use is from, hold on a minute. I need to grab another piece of paper because I didn't get this. I thought I was gonna have time to get this all set up today and didn't realize I wasn't gonna be getting up at my normal time. I could have, I woke up, but I chose to sleep in because I was extremely tired, you guys. I had a very bad headache yesterday and I think a lot of it was from the lack of sleep and then just stress from the new job and all that kind of stuff. So this die is from the Hippo dies, you guys. Don't know if I'm going to be able to get all these cut out at once, but we will give it our best shot. So I don't need this one. So I want to put it, let me put this back on my magnet. I had was going to try to use this die and add a little bit of pale papaya in there, but decided at the end I didn't like it as much as I thought I was going to. So we don't need that. So that one is Pell Papaya. And then the, the sentiment is, of course, Basic White. And then Blushing Bride is going to cut out our flower. And then Mint Macaron is going to cut out the little, like, leaves. So let me see. Am I going to get it all on here, you guys? I think I can. Hopefully my... My sentiment isn't going to move when I put that plate down. That's the only one we really have to worry about. Yeah, and not to mention the building I work in now is huge. Oh my gosh. I don't have very many muscles today. 
so I can't, I can only go in the door that I'm used to going in because I don't know how to get around that place yet. I'm only three weeks in and when you're working, you don't have time to go and explore. So I'm just going to lay the dies right over there so I don't lose them. I'm always so frantic that I'm going to lose, that I'm going to lose dies. I've done it before too, you guys. That kind of cut just a little bit off that flower, but I'm not going to worry about it. It must have moved a little bit on me when I ran it through, but I'm not going to worry. There's the sentiment. Now we're going to take off this plate and let me grab that embossing folder and we're going to take the flower and this little stem, pop that out, and we're just going to emboss them. I would emboss the little pale papaya uh, that I cut out using the hippo dies, but honestly, you guys, you don't see enough of it. I just put that on there to add just a little bit of color on there. So I'm just going to place those on there just like that. Close that up. And then I'm going to use the blue plate if I can talk. That will have embossed them. Let me clear the spot. I'm not very happy about the cooled down temperatures either, you guys. It's only been like in the 70s here. I like it when it's a little bit warmer. It just kind of feels like summer's on the end, and I'm not happy about that. Okay, so we're going to have to trim our flowers down because as you can see, they're going to be way longer than what we want them to be. So I just cut mine. I didn't want to cut them too short. So I would go shorter and then you can always cut off more. So I'm going to go right about there for this one and right about there for this one. And then if I need to, we'll trim them down a little bit more. Okay. Let's grab dimensionals. Put about three on the back of this. I really wanted this uh, box also to uh, have the ribbon wrap around the box and I'll show you what I mean here in just a second but I really wanted it to be one of them where the bow was on top and then she would unwrap it but with the notch being in the front she was going to open it that way so I didn't want to I just kind of thought that would be a little bit confusing and wouldn't be cohesive so I didn't do it so what I did was I just kind of layered that flower just a little bit behind there to where I wanted it to be kind of like peeking through. And then I kind of laid it on here and then laid it on my box to see how it was gonna look. And then you, you're gonna have this piece to cover this up. But this is still a little bit longer than what I want it to be. So I am gonna, and I'm probably gonna end up losing this little leaf right there because I'm about to cut it off. And I'm gonna cut these just a smidge shorter too. Just like that because I don't want those peeking peeking out the bottom and then you can kind of position it again I always make sure before I put something down that I have it and that's going to be okay so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my Tombow make sure that I have these flipped on the right side for the side I want my glue to be on and I'm just going to dot on the stems and just a little bit going up. Some of it might hang off the box at the top. So I'm going to make sure I don't put adhesive up there. So just basically down towards the bottom. And then on this one, I'm going to put a little bit right there. Okay. That should be good. Then I'm going to take this piece and I'm just going to, I kind of tilted it to the right. I'm going to leave this one up a little bit because I want to position this Kind of like that because I wanted to make sure you know you could see the mint macaron and all that kind of stuff. Then I'm going to go ahead and put it on the box and then I'll put my label on last so I make sure I have everything covered. And I just got Tombow on my fingers and they're super gluey now. Hey Kathleen. Thank you Diana for sharing. So let's kind of put that and you can put it in the direction if you want it to go that way. I kind of put that flower a little bit too sideways. Let me straighten that up a little bit. And I'm just going to kink it to make it go the way that I want it to go. So let's just kind of put that right like, oops, 
but I don't have anything in there, guys, is why it's doing that. Should have put my treats in there. That would help as we're holding it together. Let's peel these off, which makes it really hard when you have Tombow now all over your fingers. I think I can do it. And then I just chose to put this kind of here at the bottom. I want to put my ribbon on there. So that's going to leave enough room for the ribbon at the top. And I'm sure this girl is super sweet. So I'm sure she's going to overlook all the pinkness. And I'm going to joke with her and tell her, <laughs> you know, that's why I was asking you what what's your color. And we were talking about getting our nails done. And I knew I was going to do this pink. I love the shade of pink that my nail salon has. And like I told her, I said, you know, we're coming to the end of summer, so everybody's going to go in with the dark colors, the maroons and browns and things like that. So I want to do that real pretty pink I like one more time before we head into fall and we start changing the colors up. <clears throat> and she was like, oh, and I told her, I said, you know, I'm not a pink girl and I'm not, I'm not somebody that wears pink or, you know, just really adores pink. Although my shirt today is pink that I have on too, so it kind of makes me look like I'm fibbing to you guys. <laughs> But, um, she goes, oh yeah, she goes, I'm not pink either. She goes, I hate pink. So I was like, oh no, don't tell me that. But she's going to be nice about it. She's a very, very sweet girl. Okay, let's put our bow right there at the top. Okay, now I'm, I can change. I'm just going to leave my treats in this box, to be honest with you. This is the one I'm probably going to give her. It doesn't matter. They're both the same. I'll eyeball it later tonight and see which one I think looks better. This one looks a little bit crooked in the front, so it probably will be this one. I must have put my paper on there. I think that's the the one that I put on there crooked. But So this is going to be what she gets, you guys. What do you think? I hope you guys like it. Let me switch back over and I'll see if you guys have any questions for me today. Anybody have any questions? Any suggestions? I do want to ask you guys, um, thank you guys so much for the hearts. You're so sweet. I do want to ask you guys really quick, your professional opinion. My, um, take your pick tool. I have this one for my die cutting and then scoring. My scoring one will not stay in no matter how tight I lock it. I have put this thing in a gazillion times. I have locked it turned and it feels like, I mean, you can see it's locked. But then when I go to score, it comes unlocked. What? Does anybody have any suggestions? Because I'm at a loss on why that keeps coming undone. I just don't understand. I might have to order a new one. It was working fine. It's, this is what I've used for years. And then all of a sudden, it decided it was just not going to lock anymore. And I will also tell you guys, too, I upload this to my YouTube channel every week after I'm done. So if you missed it and you want to go there, you can fast forward through all the chit chat. That's what I do when I want to watch somebody's Facebook live and I don't want to hear all the promotions if I'm not interested, but don't do that because you guys might miss out on a good promotion I'm doing. Okay. If nobody has any suggestions or comments, I'm going to go so I can get to work early and hopefully today get a good parking spot. Let's start my day off right. Thanks so much, you guys, for joining me, and I will see you next Wednesday at noon, you guys. Um, Debbie said she hasn't used the score edge much. Yeah, I could call them. I'll probably just order a new one. It's probably just old or something, but um, thanks, um, <clears throat> Elaine. She said it was a pretty box, and have a good day. Okay, guys, thanks so much for joining me. I'm going to go for now. Make sure that you guys... Uh, Okay, Ann wanted to know that she forgot the, the measure. Is there a PDF? Ann, there might be a PDF from back in February when I made this box, but for today's, no, I did not do a PDF. But I can tell you, if you want to, just fast forward through the video until I get to those parts and then just, just pause the video and write them down. That's what I do too if I'm watching a video and I need measurements. Okay, guys, thanks so much. God bless. I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye.